suppose if you have many number of inputs and you want to select any one of the input that should be transferred to the output so the multiplexer is required i just given the simple example of television uh, if uh, at your home you have a set of box that can you give you the hundreds of channels but at a time you can see only one channel you cannot see all the channels okay and to select those channels you have to give some command that control signal will decide which of the channels should be uh, we should take at the output okay so for this kind of operations we need the multiplexer okay so multiplexer like which of the input will be transferred to the output that is decided with the help of control signal okay so the basic block diagram of the multiplexer is suppose i am considering two to one multiplexer here i have a two inputs i0 and i1 so based on this uh, and i have one output so the control signal or this select line will decide which one of the input will be transferred to the output okay so if s0 is equal to 0 okay so if s0 is equal to 0 then the first will should be transferred and if s0 is equal to 1 then second should be transferred okay so let us try to see how the truth table for this logic will look like okay so if s0 is equal to 0 if the control signal is 0 then output is nothing it is the i0 i0 is the output okay and if it is 1 then i1 will be the output so the at output i1 and i0 will be transfer something like this okay so if the case is like this how we can make this one what will be the output expression can anyone tell me what will be the output expression for this one out is equal to if you see here if s0 is equal to 0 i0 should be transferred okay so can i make it like this s0 bar into i0 okay this is the first term and the second term is f0 is equal to s0 is equal to 1 then i1 should be transferred okay so s0 into i1 so if i will keep plus symbol here any one of these two condition can be is possible uh, like uh, like s0 i0 is possible and s0 i1 is also possible at the output so i need to keep plus symbol over here and that will give you the final expression for the output okay so the output expression is s0 bar i0 plus s0 i1 okay and based on the state if, let us see if s is equal to 0 okay so if s is equal to 0 then what will happen this term will become 0 <coughs> okay then what will uh, so what will happen this because uh, sorry this term will become 1 because s0 complement will become 1 so i0 will be output and this term will become 0 because s0 is equal to 0 s0 i1 will become 0 and at the output you will get uh, i0 okay so the output is nothing but this is the i0 and if s is equal to 1 in this case uh, the first term will become 0 because s0 complement will become 0 so this term will become 0 and the second term will give you the output is equal to i1 okay so this is how you can make so this this is the simplified expression for the 2 raised to 4 multiplexer if i want to design this one so how we can design the logic yeah just by seeing this expression you can design the design the circuit how many logic gates are needed to design this logic can anyone tell me and what are those logic gates four four logic gates what are those logic gates two and one or four two and one or and one inverter right okay so not r and 2 and absolutely correct okay so let us try to see how we can design this one suppose i have a control signal s0 and we need the complement of this control signal so we need one inverter okay so here i will get s bar s0 bar okay now uh i need one uh one end gate for s0 bar and i0 so here i will get s0 bar so s0 bar into i0 so here i will get s0 complement i0 
second uh, thing we want like s0 into i1 so we need one more end gate and s0 into i1 should be ended so this should be s0 into i1 and if we are ready with this one we need to r these two terms and that will give you the output so this is what we will get the output and this is the structure of the 2 raised to 1 multiplexer okay so this is how we can make the 2 raised to 1 multiplexer okay any doubt here anyone if you have any doubt then we can move ahead uh, we can uh, i can i will solve your questions otherwise we can move ahead so this is a simple expression for the multiplexer now one more thing uh, if we closely see the output expression for this multiplexer we are clearly uh, we are clearly uh, able to see like this this looks like uh, a something s0 bar i0 plus i0 uh, and, and s0 plus i1 and i, I have one one questions like can we make any of the logical gate with the help of this multiplexer is it possible to make logical gate like let us assume i have a uh, two inputs a and b and i want to make the end gate with the help of uh, multiplexer is it possible to do that can anyone tell me and what should be the input connections here and there so that i i can get the ending of two inputs anyone can anyone tell me what should be the thing so on the control we can have one in, on the side we can have one on control we, we can, can have one input yes sir a we can put up as as you do okay so you are saying like i simply just see this expression and you will be able to uh, do all these things because i need like for end gate i need a dot b okay for ending i need a dot b and if you see here closely i have two dot terms but i don't want the complement one okay so if i can make this s0 is equal to a and i1 is equal to b and i0 is equal to 0 so if i will make i0 is equal to 0 even though it's a, there is some complement uh, s0 complement uh, this term will always be 0 so if i0 is equal to 0 s0 is equal to a and i1 is equal to b this output will definitely act as an end gate so we can make this end gate with the help of by connecting like one of the input to the a uh, one of the control signal to the a one of uh, like i1 to the b and i0 to the zero so this will give you the uh, some end kind of structure so let us try to make some of the logical gate this is really very interesting actually and in gate examination uh, you will get some of the questions like this okay so this is important you should know so let us try to see how we can design a different different logical gate with the help of multiplexer okay so logical gates using 2 raised to 1 multiplexer yeah this is what we know 2 raised to 1 multiplexer looks like this and the output expression is s0 bar i0 plus s0 i1 okay this is the final output expression now if i want to make the not gate and if i have a multiplexer so what should be the connection can anyone tell me what should be the connection Uh, i not one i one zero and okay, so you are saying i not one i one zero zero and s not so the input we have on to invert input a okay so let us try to see here if uh, yeah see here we have expression if s zero is equal to a so this is a and i0 is equal to uh, yeah i0 is equal to 0 so that that i will get yeah so this term will become 0 uh, a into 0 and this term will become 0 now if you see here i1 is equal to 1 so this will become i0 and s0 is equal to a so i will get a bar absolutely correct okay so what i need to do we need to connect the uh, i0 is equal to 1 
so i0 will be connected to 1 i1 will be connected to 0 and this control signal will be a so here i will get a bar okay so a bar can we can observe if the control is something like this okay absolutely correct now let us try to see end uh, yeah we have already done for the end gate okay so for end gate uh, what are those possibilities uh, what we made for ending i0 is equal to 0 okay so this term will become 0 and uh, s0 is one of the term and i1 is another term so i will get a b okay what about r gate So see, one important thing is it is not necessary that this is the only condition. You can make other condition as well, like with the help of this uh, uh, first input. So this is also possible. Okay. What about R gate? What should be the output? Uh, what should be the connections so that I can get it as a R gate? Yeah, keep trying what what, uh, what should be this one uh, what should be the output for r so you need a plus b right so jent is saying s0 is equal to a I0 is equal to AB and I1 is equal to 1. But again, for AB, you are saying like AB, you need one more gate. Uh, but I don't want to use uh, another gate. Okay, like uh, AB is the another kind of set. Uh, without that, how, how we can do that? Yeah, this may be one of the possibilities. But without this ending kind of like AB input, how we can do that? Okay. See here, what we need actually? In R gate, we need A plus B. Okay. And if I need A plus B, if you see this one, so what we can do? We can put S0 as A and mm -hmm. I note as 1 and I1 as B. I okay. think that's... So let me check what you said. Uh, you are saying S0 as A, I0 as? So 1. 1 and i1 is b b so let us try to check uh, based on this expression what i will get i will get uh, i0 is equal to 1 so i will get a bar plus uh, here i am giving s0 is equal to 1 so a bar into 1 plus here i will get a into b something like this so will this uh, this expression give you the uh, a plus b yeah this is the expression what you said yes sir so that will give you the a plus b kind of so you need to check the truth table that's it so see here uh, uh, you are saying this will be like this one. Uh, so result will be A bar plus B like uh, Jayanth is saying. Let us try to see what will be the output. So let us assume A and B are the two inputs. Okay. And you are saying this is the output for to get it like A plus B. Okay. Let us try to see. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. These are the four possibilities. Okay. And if I am giving 0, 0. So 
I, I know that for uh, uh, ring they should be 0, 1, 1, 1. So this, this is what we need. Let us try to check we are getting uh, out of this or not. So A bar means uh, here I will get 1. Uh, 1 plus something, I will get always 1. So here only uh, I, uh, Yeah. So this will not be a bar plus b sir. Sir, my s not a i not b i one minute s not is equal to a i not b i not is equal to b i one is equal to one i one is equal to one let us try to see this one if you i not and i one then it will become a plus b so let us try to see apply here the output will become like s not so a bar into b plus s0 means uh, a plus a into a so a plus a bar b again it uh, yeah so of course so if you try to see this one uh, try to validate this expression a bar b plus a and uh, you have you are giving like a bar b plus a let us try to validate it whether i am getting the correct one or not so a bar b means yeah Sir, a bar b plus a ko sir solve karenge to a plus a bar into a plus b. Ha, that a plus a bar into uh, like here you can see you can expand it like simply b plus b bar you can multiply and then you can simplify it and you will get some of the solutions. Okay, so yeah, so let us try to validate it. Uh, if uh, a is equal to zero, in this case zero plus one uh, into zero, I will get zero. Absolutely correct. Uh, 0 plus 1 means uh, I will get 1 from here. 1 plus 0, I will get 1 from here. And 1 plus 1, yeah. So this is true. Yeah, this, this combination is absolutely true. So what I have to do, I have to connect S0 to the A, I0 to the B, and I1 to the 1. So this will give you the exact R kind of expression. Okay. Point is clear. I think you're, uh, so the similar kind of thing you can, uh, you, you utilize or you can design some other logical gates as well. So, yeah. So this is how we can make the R gate. The next one is NAND gate. Can anyone tell me how the NAND gate will look like? How we can make the NAND gate? Yeah, so this is the homework. So for all other, I'm just giving the homework. Then uh, get another thing. Yeah, otherwise we can try it. No problem. So because the next topic cannot be started. So let us try to see it as quickly as uh, possible. We can see it. What will be the NAND one? How the NAND get will look like? Okay. So simply the important thing, what you have to check. So let me tell you the concept. Suppose I have A and B both in, uh, two inputs and one is the output. So the combination will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, right? The output will be like, if I'm talking about uh, NAND gate, so the NAND gate output will be like 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay. And if you cl uh, clearly see here, so output, like in the first case, output is high for uh, a is equal to 0. If A is equal to 0, then output is high. We are getting. And if you see here, if A is equal to 1, I am getting, if A is equal to 1, then the output is nothing but this is just like a B complement. Okay. So this is what uh, we should see. Okay. Uh, Jent has said, so one no, uh, in the truth table, this is for you are saying NAND A and B. No, this is for NAND gate. I'm talking about NAND gate, right? And means 0, 0, 0. Uh, NAND gate is the complementary, right? So uh, uh, 0, 0, that will give you the ending of 0, 0, that will give you the 0. Ending of this one is uh, 0, 0, and 1. 
but if you are finding the NAND, so it will give like this only. Okay, so truth table for, for NAND gate is uh, 1110. Okay, so if you see here this expression, I'm getting if uh, A is equal to 0, then uh, output is equal to 1. And output is equal to 1. Okay, and if A is equal to 1, the output is the B bar. Okay. So simply just try to connect this one. Mm, here I need to keep A. If A is equal to zero, output is one. So output is one means I need to take output one over here. And if A is equal to zero, the output should be B bar. So if I will connect B bar and A something like this, I will get the expression like this one. Okay. So the important thing is just, just see the truth table and uh, you will uh, you will you will get the answers first case if a is equal to zero output is one so just i have to connect uh, input as this one and in the second is if a is equal to one then um, output will be complement of b so b bar will be transferred so here i will get a dot b bar okay if you simplify you will get the ending kind of thing uh, like let us consider uh, the xr1 okay for example and we know that the function or, or, or the the expression for xr gate is like I, if i have a two variable a and b so the function will be like a b bar plus a bar b okay and if you try to compare this function with this expression so uh, you can clearly see here i0 let us consider this i0 as a and as uh, s0 as b okay so here i will get b bar here i will get a and here i will get b and what should be a a should be something like a uh, i0 should be something like a complement okay so if i can put s0 is equal to b or a anything it's not like i have to keep always b i can also keep a it's not a problem so let us consider s0 is equal to b and i0 is equal to a and i1 is equal to a bar then the same logic can be utilized as a xr gate simply just you need to compare with this expression okay so if you will keep like this you will get the expression so what you need to do you need to simply s0 that will this will be the b i0 will be a and i1 will be a bar Okay, so this is how you can develop the XR. And similarly, you can do for rest two as well, because I have done for all others, only two are left. So yeah, but if you see, uh, what is the function for X naught? Can anyone tell me? What kind of logics will be required to develop it as a X naught? For interchange A and A bar. Uh, what you need? Sir, interchange A and A bar. A in A bar interchange, and then you will get it. Okay, so let us try to see. Uh, S zero is B, then it will become B bar. I zero is A bar. You are interchanging with the this one, and here S zero will become B, and I one will become A. Absolutely correct. Okay, so if you interchange these two things, if you keep A bar in the first one and A in the second one, and keep P as this one. So you will get a x nor b. Now the last is left. So you can also tell for what is the nor gate. For nor gate, what will be the uh, expression? Can anyone tell me? What will be the function for nor gate? How we can make the nor gate? S yes, not i not equals to zero. I not is equal to zero. I1 equals to B and S not equals to A bar. S not is equal to A bar. Okay, so let us try to check whether it is working. Uh, uh, so you are saying I not is equal to zero, this first function will become zero. Okay, and here uh, S0 is A bar. So you are saying that S0 is the A bar and uh, I1 is B. Okay. So it should be B bar. It should be B bar. Okay. So it will be B bar. Yeah. 
a bar dot b bar and if you expand like if you apply the de morgan's here so a plus uh, a plus b complement will come out yeah absolutely correct so it should be like the uh, s0 should be a complement i0 should be grounded and i1 should be b complement okay so this is one of the possible solution for this one okay. so this is how we can make the different logic gates Okay. Yeah, other cases are also possible. I I, I, I already told you, uh, whatever the cases we are giving here, this is not the only possible solution. There could be different possible solutions. You can make any of the combination. Okay. So ultimate aim is like we need to make it just like a, a logic requirement. It's not like what you are putting here. And yes, of course, one one important thing is there that. Uh, the minimum hardware requirement should be there. It is not like then you are using A and gate or gate to connect all these things. No, it's, it should not be like that. Minimum hardware requirement should be there to make any of the logic. Okay, so the first objective is to get the actual function required. And the second one is the logic uh, or, or the hardware requirement should be as small as possible. Okay, uh, try to accommodate without any complement, without any logical gates. Uh, just by simply the logical input and the zero and one. Okay, so if I have two inputs, so try to accommodate with A and B, one and zero. Okay, so if you are able to accommodate with uh, these variables, then that will be the efficient design. Okay, instead of you are using A bar, B, one and zero. So for this one, you need one more hardware for the complement one. Okay, so the efficient design uh, can be considered if you are utilizing only a, b, and one and zero, not all other. So if you consider, if you if you compare all the logics of what we discussed over here, the first one is the uh, if you see this one is the efficient design. Okay, this one is also the efficient design. Okay, this is also the efficient design. Okay, but this one this one and this one is not the efficient design and this one is also okay so the, uh, the first three like basic gates are the efficient one and the 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 exclusive and the uh, universal gates are not the standard one like they, they require additional hardware one more inverter is needed we need one inverter for this one we need two inverter in this case we need one inverter in this case and we need one inverter in this case Okay, can you think about something like can we make uh, because see the hardware requirement uh, should be same for the NOR and the NAND. Okay, so there could be one possibility on which you can get only one inverter. You need only one inverter. So try to check that combination because see here we need only one complement, one logic zero and one normal normal signal whatever we have. But here we require two complement. Okay. So uh, might be uh, you can simplify in a such a way that you may need some uh, minimum hardware or single inverter can solve your purpose. So try to in check this, it up. Huh? If you put S not A and I not as B bar. S not A and I not as a B bar. And, and I one zero. I one is equal to zero. So let us try to see whether it is possible or not. So S not is equal to A. So I will get A bar over here. Okay. And I zero is the B bar over here. And this term will become zero. Yeah, absolutely correct. Okay. So this will become the optimum one. Okay. So if we are keeping something like this, S zero is equal to A, I zero is equal to B bar, and I one is equal to zero. In that case, you need only one inverter for this one. Absolutely correct. Okay. So C. I just told you it is not necessary that the only one possibility is uh, it, well, there is only one possibility to get the logic. You can have the multiple possibility as well. Okay, so this is also one of the possibility, and this this will become the uh, efficient one than the what we have designed over here. Uh, as of now, we have discussed about two to one multiplexer. Now let us try to see if I have to design. 4 to 1 multiplexer, then how it could be done. So we know the concept of uh, multiplexer and then how it could be designed. So uh, the 2 to 1 multiplexer means uh, I have a, a two number of inputs and 
I want to make it like uh, the output should be one. So in that case, what what can be done? Okay. So let us try try to uh, make four to one multiplexer and how it will look like. Try to see and with the enable signal. Okay. So the four to one multiplexer, the structure of four to one multiplexer will look like this one, where I will have four number of inputs, two number of control signals. And one enable signal. Enable signal will decide whether I have to enable this mux or not. Because if this mux is not enabled, so even though there are some changes in the input, it will not be reflected at the output. Okay. So the output will always be zero if the in, uh, the enable uh, this mux is not enabled. Okay. And the output can be zero or one. It depends. The uh, depends on the input. So suppose. S0 and S1 is 0, 0. In that case, I0 should be selected. But because if I0 is equal to 0, definitely output will be 0. And if I0 is equal to 1, the output will be 1. Okay. So the input will be reflected to the output. And it could be anything. It could be 0 or 1. Okay. Based on the control, based on the input selected, uh, the out, uh, in, uh, like input will be transferred to the output 1. So suppose I have a 4 to 1 multiplexer having four inputs and two out, uh, two control signals and one output. So let us try to make the two table for this one, how it will look like. So because if you see this multiplexer is active low, okay? So this will be activated if uh, enable will be zero, okay? So if enable is equal to one, okay? So if enable is equal to one, then whatever the condition of control signals are, it does not matter. Output will always be zero. Okay. Now let us try to see if enable is equal to zero. So there are four possibilities: zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. And the enable will be low here, and the output will be uh, decided based on the controls. So if zero zeros are there then I0 will be selected, I1 will be selected, I2 will be selected, and I3 will be selected, okay? Now, let us try to see what will be the final expression, okay? So final expression for output will be, like if we try to write the expression for output, so the out is equal to, see here, this is the first component, Okay, this is the second one, this is the third one, and this is the fourth one. Fifth one is zero, so I, I don't need to consider that one. Okay, so, but whatever the components I have, these all components are depends on this enable, this S1, and this S0. Okay, so what are those components? Let us try to write here. Because enable is equal to zero, so I can write it like E bar, S1 bar, S0 bar into I0. So this is the first component. Second component could be E bar, okay, S1 bar, S0, I1. Third component could be E bar, S1, S0 bar, I2. And the fourth component is E bar S1, S0, I3. So this is the expression for output for 4 raised to 1 multiplexer. This, is, this expression is simply just based on whatever the outputs we are getting over here. This output will be I0. This I0 will be only transferred if all are 0. Okay. And similarly for other cases. Okay. And this is how we can make the output expression. Now, if I want to make the uh, circuit for this one, so you, if you see here, I need how many logical gates are required in this case? Can anyone tell me? How many logic gates are required to implement this function? Eight. Eight. Okay. Ten. Someone is saying ten. Someone is saying eight. Okay. Let us try to see how many gates are required. So, uh, 
first first of all we need three inverter one inverter for e bar second inverter for s1 bar and third inverter is for s0 bar, bar okay so we need three inverter now i need one uh, end gate for this one i need one end gate for this one one end gate for this one and one end gate for this one so four end gate is required and to add all these things i need one or gate okay so the total number of gate requirements are eight only not ten okay so eight number of gates uh, logic gates are required to implement this one now let us try to see how we can implement it it's really very simple right so i will have one s1 line and also the complement of s1 i need s0 line complement of s0 enable line and the complement of yeah enable or complement of enable line so we have all these things okay so if i have to implement this one so what i have to do i need four input and gate and i need to connect enable bar s1 bar s0 bar and one additional input line is required okay so i required uh, i need to do e bar which i have done here s1 bar here s0 bar here and the fourth input will be i0 okay so this is the first term similarly you can design the second term just like this one only okay and you need one uh, enable then uh, uh, s1 bar and s0 okay and i1 will be the second input similarly uh, the third component and the fourth component so this is all about the uh, the components now what we need to do then after i have to r all these components okay i have to add all these components so if i have to r then i need one r gate and this will be the output and in summary this will be the four raised to one multiplexer with enable signal so here s0 and s1 these two are the control signal e is the enable signal i0 to i3 these are the input signals and out is the output signal so we require so if i want to make any ic okay if i have to make any integrated circuit for uh four to one multiplexer so how many pins are required can anyone tell me if i want to make any ic having one four to one multiplexer inside so how many uh number of pins are required so 10 10 how so four input i not i1 i2 i3 and yes. three this s1 s0 e huh? one output and huh? one ground and one power absolutely correct perfect because if i have to include only uh, four h to one multiplexer in ic uh, four pins are required for the input two pins are required for the control signal one pin for the enable one pin for output and two pins for the supply and the ground okay so total number of pins required will be 10 so 10 pin ic will be sufficient to accommodate this 4 to 1 multiplexer single 4 to 1 multiplexer okay so this is the important thing 